Welcome YouTube. The video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind, the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. So we have excessive spacing here, inconsistent spacing, which we can put down to its left and right justified. So with the balance of the honor and the grace, we can let that slide. For this copyright copy claim date, 1 July 1775. Here's a question, folks. How can one claim a date, location, when one was not a live life claimant or even breathing on that date? Think about that. So we have the incorrect positional through. So we have for this copyright copy claim through this now date. Now is actually no contract, folks. Look it up. It's non-tangible contract. Is with this patent performance and copyright performance of this video documentary and audio video documentary with the vacate copy facts and vacate story spin offs. Val in front of a consonant, no contract, copying, ing, no contract, within, incorrect positional. This video documentary and audio video documentary with the viewing and listening, you can see the particles of negation there, of the persons and claim life citizens. Citizens, huh? Interesting. With the story of the life with the claimant, author, claimant, federal, postal judge, plenipotentiary judge, postmaster, bank banker. Why do we have spaces in between the letters here? That in and of itself throws this whole thing into adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. Never mind the particles of negation and the incorrect positionals. Vatican City Key Master, Postmaster, Commander-in-Chief, and Postmaster General of our Foreign World Postal Banking Corporation. With the Russell J. of the Gould, with this now space docketing, by this, wow. Yes, this is a perfect example of quantum gobbledygook. So let's read it backwards. For this Federal Postal Service, blah, 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 of this now space docket is with the, see this colon here, with the Russell J, or I'm sorry, Russell J with the, so we have with the Gould of the Russell J, 
with our Foreign World Postal Bank Corporation of the claimant author with the life of the story with the persons of the view of out this video documentary <laughs> of the vacate copy facts with this video documentary of this patent performance through what is what is congruent with through? Okay, folks. So you see the word through here. And you scroll down. You see preposition as in by way of. So the opposite, the only opposite that they have is around. So it would be instead of through this now date, it would be around this now date by this copyright copy claim. So long story short, folks, and I'm only what? A few minutes into this and you've already seen how many mistakes I've already certified for you multiple 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 errors multiple inconsistencies even with the balance of the honor and the grace so it is what it is folks I pointed this out dozens of times and it's up to you as to whether you want to buy into this type of quantum gobbledygook or not but let's let's take a look at the video let's see what uh, is being said here everything is semantics everything is communication and our ability to control our words now once you comprehend that you are in a shipping communication war they created a new technology which is uh, it's, it's called natural language processing it is a artificial intelligence machine learning uh, ability to create meaning out of words in order to map everything that everyone says on the internet. Okay. I'm just going to give you my thoughts on AI. With my experiments with AI, and also some of my students have experimented with it, my position on AI is it's bullshit. It is... Uh, not what people say it is. It cannot learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. I've tried to teach it. I've tried to teach that chat bot, whatever it is. I've challenged certain AI entities or, or programs, and none of them, none of them can syntax with correctness, and none of them can create a consistent correct sentence structure. They don't get it. Can't do it. At least at this juncture in the now space. So what this individual is talking about is uh, basically AI um, performing by rote. Because one thing the computer does have an advantage over humans is that computers remember and can search things very very fast so that is one advantage and create this vast topography topography of how communities are organized online who the major influences are what they're talking about what narratives are emerging or trending and to be able to create this sort of network graph uh, in order to know who to target and and uh, and how information moves through an ecosystem and so they began plotting the language you know, the prefixes the suffixes the popular terms the slogans what was your very first clue that something's off here and it folks i'm always going to draw attention to the grammar look at the grammar down here look at this you have a colon space voice colon space andy space powell period what's wrong with this picture outside of the error of the the common error of the colon space which means of the, which is incorrect because every correct sentence structure must start with a cause, which is for the, which would mean the V is tied up against the colon. What else do you see wrong? Andy space Powell. What's going on there? Why is this word power?
towel not been positioned correctly with a position lodial phrase? Basically, this is a pro voice is a pronoun, Andy is an adjective, and Powell is a pronoun. It's in the grammar. When I was really young, when I was in first and second grade, I uh, went to summer school for three summers, first, second, third grade. I was in a private Christian school. And Folks, let's look at the grammar of this sentence, or this word group. Again, the mistake, the colon space of the postmaster hyphen general. And then we have another colon space, Russell hyphen J, and then another colon space. Now, with correct sentence structure, with titles and names, it doesn't matter. You will always have two position lodial fact phrases. And that's as many as you can have by themselves. And then you have to put a full stop there. If you're going to go into a third position lodial fact phrase, you must put a verb in after the first two. For the facts, of the facts, are, and then your third position lodial fact phrase. If it's a name, it would be for the facts, of the facts, period. Just like for the Jason hyphen Matthew, of the glass, period. For the Russell hyphen J, of the Gould, period. If you're going to put another position lodial phrase in, you have to put a verb in. As you can see here, whoever wrote this, may not be cognizant of that gr grammar rule. So they have of the postmaster hyphen general with the Russell hyphen J of the Gould, which is basically pronoun, pronoun, pronoun. And I was taught sentence diagramming. Became cognizant that there was a manipulation about these words. So I did as best I could at the time to... Just curious. How in school, in a private Christian school, would he become aware of a manipulation of the grammar he was being taught? Now, I understand people can manipulate words to manipulate people. You use words to maybe direct people in whichever direction you want to go. But how would you know that the grammar had been, that, that the language had been manipulated, especially in a grade school? And manipulated by who? Now, grammar changes. Words change. Language changes over time. The meanings change. It's, it's about change and modification for sure. But he's not using that. He's using the word manipulation. Manipulation infers that someone purposely did it. How would he know that? And how could he prove that? In a grade school, ask him for a friend. To study words. Wasn't hip to the prefixes or suffixes. I did know about root words, and I didn't comprehend. I didn't have the dictionary access like I did in later on in life to where I could read, like, in fiction, read, like, Noah Webster's 1828 and read all about the prefixes and suffixes and what makes words and the laws of bracketing and all the things that italicized words are misspelled in contract. And, I mean, just all the things. Changing font, sleight of hand, a lot of crazy things that, uh, you know, different dictionaries have out there that you got to read the fine print. Everything is semantics, everything is communication, and our ability to control our words. And once you comprehend that you are in a shipping communication war, and you look at the math functions of being in the quantum of the now space, well, it's a no-brainer, right? <laughs> right? Why would you want to have use past tense suffixes? Why would you want to move yourself out of time and space? Looking at the prefixes and the past tense suffixes, and the past tense suffixes are like an ED at the end of the world. ED moves you into the past. So does United have now time jurisdiction? No. ED, the suffix, means to move you into a past tense scenario. Also, the particle of negation, U, at the beginning of the word, because any vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word is no contract. Yeah, so it moves you out of the quantum of the now. Now, the quantum is a 
breaking down of the quanta, which is the pluralisms that allowed everything to come to its least common denominator point to come to a conclusion about what the fact is now. Actually, quantum just basically means a finite quantity of something, folks. That's why when you say the word like quantum grammar, all right, uh, when you use that term, quantum means a finite value or quantity of something. And then you have grammar. So quantum grammar literally means a limited amount of grammar, a finite amount of grammar. Unlike the fiction where they have definitions, no finite contract. That's why you have multiple meanings for one word. Whereas in quantum grammar, quantum means a finite amount. One word, one meaning, one function, one congruency. One and one is one. That is the basis of correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar. And we're seeing that in the court systems now where the judges are following the protocol, doing a very good job. I trained them very well globally where they're saying nobody's presenting any facts here. We can, this is false and misleading. Did he just claim to train judges globally? Folks, here's my challenge to all of you out there watching this video. All of you, I'm sure, live within 12 miles of a fiction foreign vessel and dry dock courthouse, a district courthouse. I challenge you to go down to that courthouse, go into a courtroom, engage with one of those master masons in the black robes, and ask them if they know who colon Russell hyphen J colon space Gould is. I challenge you to do that. And I predict the answer will be, huh? And so they're, they're throwing out good people that probably have good volition to fix society. They're throwing out their lawsuits right and left under, well, you're not bringing any facts here and everybody's confused. When you start studying prefixes to words, yeah. right? All of a sudden you look at yourself and most people go down to the bank and do a deposit, right? But the prefix DE means to separate from your positive, your position. Then the bank turns around and hands you a receipt, but the prefix re means no. So they give you nothing back, which now gives third party access to your account because you can't prove you had funds. Which is Do you think he ever gets tired of repeating and regurgitating what Colin David Eiffel and Wynn Colin Miller started saying in 1988? Like he's still saying these same things over and over and over again. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's good to have, like, catchphrases and things to fall back on. I, I do the same thing in certain cases. I mean, there are actually folks out there, believe it or not, there are actually folks out there who can predict the hand gestures I'm going to use when I say certain things, like geometric level playing field of contract. They know that I'm going to go like this. They know that I'm going to go like this when I'm when I'm talking about levels of something or, you know, it's just things that we fall back on. But it's interesting that this guy has been saying this same R.E.D.E. -E example for like 15 years. Might be, you know, just just a friendly suggestion might be time to look for some new material. Look at this. All right. For the claim of the life .com. If that is a website, then that is a location. Where is the tilde? Where is the colon? To position it correctly. <coughs> now we have a colon space. They tried to put a colon here, but it's incorrect. And there is no tilde. Same thing here. Same thing here. Because it is a website, I'm not going to uh, make a big deal out of the particles of negation that I see in there. But the bottom line is, folks, whoever's running Russell's channel, 
doesn't know correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. And Russell still hasn't come forward to make any corrections to any of the grammar that he uses or anything like that. Now, folks, don't get me wrong. Please don't get me wrong. Let me, let me engage with you on a personal level on this one. I am in no way, shape, or form telling anyone to stop and correct. I don't do that. It's not up to me to make someone else stop and correct. I don't threaten people. I don't do things like that. That's fic Those are fiction tactics, folks. When you see someone threatening someone like, you better stop and correct or, or you're, you're going to end up in the quantum grammar jail or whatever. I'm going to send bounty hunters after you. Those are fear-mongering fiction tactics. I don't do things like that because, quite frankly, I am not a fan of the fiction. What I'm saying is, Colin Russell hyphen J. Colin Gould has not corrected any of the mistakes in his grammar. And there are literally dozens and dozens of mistakes, consistent mistakes, that I have shown. If he is humble, if he is learning, as he says, and he's with the humility, then why wouldn't he do it? Why wouldn't he correct the errors that I've been pointing out for years? Why won't he even address them? Why does he instead slander me? And, uh, well, that's all I'll say about that, really. But I'm not definitely not telling anyone to stop and correct. That's not my place to do that. I'm just making the observation that he hasn't addressed any of the errors in his grammar, and he doesn't really talk about grammar in any of his videos, except to do the rudimentary, you know, bare basic noob, RE is, means no, DE means no, blah, blah, blah. Same shit that uh, David Wynn Miller was saying, you know, 20, 25 years ago. He's still saying that same stuff. Why? you would like to learn correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar i offer several choices the first one and the easiest one is to study the almost 900 free public videos on this youtube channel that you're watching right now the second option if you want to see new content is to click the join button on my main youtube page or under any video that you're watching click the join button and you will see two tiers of membership. If you choose the second tier, the Loyalist Contributor tier, and you join that for a monthly support donation, you'll get new content, fresh content, exclusive content not available to the public every month. But keep in mind, there's already almost 900 videos here free to the public to study. And the third option is to contact me at the email address at the bottom of your screen. And this is for the serious students only. And apply for a correct grammar workshop. But please include your correct name when contacting me. And I'll set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation. And you and I will have a conversation. You can ask me whatever you want. I'll answer your questions. I'll do the same with you. I'll ask you questions. I'll see if indeed you are serious.